Where is he? He invited us over, but I don't see him anywhere. Hello? Brant? Brant, are you here? Did we just get conned into taking care of his dog? It is Jess, aka Player Tap That A, and I am back with my Sims 4 Master Chef series. I want to give a big shout out to my YouTube and Twitch subscribers, and a big welcome to all of you tuning in for the first time. We are here with the awesome Miss Alex Palmer. Girl is getting a little bit of shut eye at the moment before she starts another lovely day at work. We have had so much going on at her apartment lately, but we are just excited right now. The, the neighbors are not being super loud. Ew, what is this? All right, let's see if we can't fix the jam ourselves. We got this. Oh. She is up oh. and she is furious. It's just all part of being a hothead. Sometimes you just wake up in a furious mood. But hey, she'll get over it. She always does. She's good about stuff like that. Maybe we will send her over here to watch the cooking channel. That always cheers her up a little bit. Watch culinary training videos. Oh, let's do that. And then she needs to take a little bit of a shower, get ready for the day. We acquired the handiness skill, so that must mean that we took care of it. So that's awesome. All right, girl is back inside. Why didn't you close the door? Okay, there we go. I was like, why didn't you close the door, girl? All right, we are instantly inspired by watching the cooking channel. That's my girl. That's my girl. It is 6.30 in the morning and we go to work in nine hours. Oh, but we need to practice the mixology skill a little bit more. Oh, oh, we need to reach level two of it. Well, the bar that we bought, I just don't think is very useful. Honestly, we make one drink in the blink of an eye. So we might very well just be selling this bar, but I don't know where else she could practice because I don't want to just put a bar in her living room. She doesn't have that much room. Also, before we go to work today, I want girl to come over here and work on another little cookbook. I think that would be super smart for her to do. Oh, she hasn't finished this one, Playing With Your Food. We will definitely, definitely, definitely finish that book before we leave. We are inspired and finishing our book. You know this is gonna turn out well. You just know it is. I wish we had to like water our little plants over here and stuff like that. But then again, I say that. I say that, but then would I want to do it? Would I really want to do it? I literally just remembered we still haven't done anything about the mixology skill. Okay, so where are we in our level of mixology skill? We are like just, just, just level one. And I just really don't think that this bar is going to help us. We might need to go ahead and bite the bullet and just get a full size bar as much as I don't want to. Okay, is there something super tiny we could get her that, that qualifies as a bar? It's a bar caddy. I want something small and all these things are huge, 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 huge. I mean, this thing's kind of cute, but she's got to be able to stand behind it. So look, it just sticks out there in the middle of nowhere. Hmm, there's got to be a better place to put this. What if we do a bar along this wall, but it still just sticks out there and just doesn't belong. I don't know what we're going to do. What is this thing? Is this a bar? No, this is not a bar. What is this? No. What is this? No. I just don't want to put a random bar right in the middle of her house. And you know what? I'm not going to. We'll get this little bar back and we'll do what we can. She still needs to practice her mixology skill. So I really, uh, I don't want her to just like become a lush, honestly. And she's spending a fortune and not really learning how to mix back here. Maybe what we'll do is maybe we can get a mixology lesson from a local bartender or something. We could try that. She is going to be hungry when she gets up. Oh my gosh, they are being so loud again. But it's okay, because it is noon, so be as loud as you want to be. All right, let's come over here and cook. Let's have her cook some... Mm, what do we want to make? Ooh, a high-energy protein plate. Let's try it. Oh, you know it. All right, well, you guys go, neighbors. You guys go. We just finished the book, oh yeah. And now that she is all done with the book, we will come out here and we will self-publish. Aw oh, yeah, son, playing with your food. They are jamming out in there and they have mail right here they need to, they need to do something with. 
you know, we could stand to have a little bit of music in our house. Maybe we should get a stereo or something. If they're gonna be that loud already. So we're making a high protein plate right now. Ooh, look at that asparagus. Yes, girl. I feel like I wanna get her like an espresso machine or something. I just feel like chefs are running on a lot of caffeine. Let's see if we can't get her uh, an espresso machine or something like that. Ooh, there's a tea magic. What is this? There we go, espresso engine. There you go, girlfriend. And then we can have her make a drink for here. Oh, oh, we can't make any of these yet. Wait, why can't we? There is no espresso grinder. Oh, all right. Dang it. I didn't know this was like a, a two item purchase kind of thing. No clue. All right, where's where's my grinder at? Is this it? An espresso grindomatic. Oh yeah, let's do it. Girl's gonna have so much caffeine. I'm gonna lay this out a little bit better because right now she's just got all this massive machinery all over her apartment. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and do that now. Congrats on getting to the next cooking level, girl. All right, we're gonna move this. Actually, I don't mind the espresso machine being seen. Let's move this over here because that is not the most prettiest thing in the world. And then we can move our cookbook over here, a little closer to the stove. Oh my God, that's gonna catch on fire. You just know that's an accident waiting to happen. All right, we'll move our bottle of wine. All right, so we can't click on this thing at all. So what do we do? We click on this and we're now able to make drinks because we have that other thing. Okay, okay, so what do we want? Ooh, let's do an espresso. Ooh, I am excited. It is our first time making coffee. Yes, girl. I wish that we could, is this, does this qualify as learning to make drinks? No, it does not. Of course it wouldn't. Feel cheated? I feel cheated. Get a little bit of espresso in our life. Espress yourself. Oh no, oh no, why are you sweating so much? What's wrong? Oh, it's really hot out today. That's what it is. Oh my gosh, well put on your cold weather gear. Where are you? <gasps> oh no, where are you? Okay, well Alex was burning to death, but then she had to take off to work, so it saved her. Ooh, why is this thing flashing? Ooh, oh there's a festival, that's what it is. All right, let's read about the festival. This is gonna be good stuff. When she gets home from work, she can read about the festival, see what's going on in the neighborhood. All right, girl is back home and we have learned about the Spice Festival. When is it happening? When is it happening? What does it say? Oh, Friday, 5 p.m. We're going to it, you know it, you know it. And she is now inside and she is watching the cooking channel, so girl is feeling good. We need to reach level two of the mixology skill like really bad or we can't, we can't actually get a promotion. Well, dag nab it. All right, that's it. We're gonna travel to a bar and see if we can convince the bartender to let us get behind the bar, you know, and, and, and try our skills. Let's see, let's see if we can go to, where do we wanna try to go? Do we want to try this lounge to try the Stargazer Lounge? We are at the Stargazer Lounge and looking to see if we can convince someone to let us get behind the bar. So we're going to change into our clothes really quick so we look like ourselves. Oh my gosh, Vlad is the bartender here? What? All right, so let's let's introduce ourselves first. We don't want to just hop behind this bar, you know, just right away. We, we should though. Pinned bar, practice making drinks. See, this is what we need to do, but let's at least go say hi. So we're not rude hopping behind his bar. Okay, we said hi. Was, did, was that it? Oh, we're gonna go behind the bar to say hi. Okay, careful, he is a vampire. Oh, we don't like each other for some reason. Okay, we're trying to crack jokes. I think we're cracking vampire jokes. He's laughing. Meanwhile, this guy's being so loud. Oh, he's karaokeing. Oh, okay. Well, I'm like, dude, you are just so loud over here right now. All right, are we... Oh, we're in a better mood with him. Okay. Well, if we can cheer him up just a little bit more, we learn that he's evil. Well, maybe that's why we didn't like you. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, we're slowly liking him. All right. Can we come back here and practice making drinks? I am just curious. I am just curious. Because we're, we're slightly friends now. See? See? And the guy who was just karaoke is like, I need a drink, like bad. All right, so we're gonna tend this bar over here and practice making some drinks. 
She's got this. She's totally got this. Girl's doing it. Oh, 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 we're missing. We're missing the ice. That's not good. All right, I just want to know, is our mixology skill going up? Because it doesn't look like it is. We're busy talking to somebody. Who are we talking to? We're having a group conversation. We need to be practicing making drinks is what we need to be doing. We've reached the mixology skill level two. Thanks for letting us play around your bar, Vlad. We appreciate it. And we don't hate Vlad anymore, which is good. All right, so let's go ahead and say something nice to him before we leave. We are going to brighten his day before we leave since he let us play behind his bar the entire time. Oh no, we keep going in between like hating each other and then being okay with each other. It is almost 3 a.m. I have lost track of time. All right, we need to go home. Thanks for letting us use your bar, Vlad. Did not realize we let the time get away from us this much. But are we all set for work tomorrow? Huzzah! Oh, but we have not made any food. And we are exhausted. All right then. We are back home. We have no mail. We are exhausted and good night. We're gonna go ahead and go to sleep. When she wakes up, we can have her make some food. I think she works tomorrow, right? Yeah, we work in 12 hours, perfect. So she can sleep and then she can- <gasps> We can make gourmet meals now? Oh, you know we're doing that. We're gonna try a fruit and yogurt parfait when we wake up. All right, good night, beautiful. All right, we are awake and ready to greet the day. She only got like five hours of sleep, but she is fully rested. So you go, girl. You're a better woman than me. That would not be enough for me. I will tell you this. We acquired the gourmet cooking skill. Heck yes, girl. You are just sailing through this. You are just sailing through it. Ooh, that looks delicious. That does look like a fruit and yogurt parfait. It does. It does. It does. All right, we're gonna pour this into another bowl, a smaller bowl. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Okay, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Look at this thing. Oh, oh, that's a boo. oh my goodness, look at you go. You nailed it. You nailed it. She is going to enjoy her parfait, but I'm just thinking, why not come over here and watch some TV, have a little bit of fun while you're eating your parfait? Relaxing at home, getting some cooking ideas. All right, we are all done with our food and also all done watching TV. Oh yeah, our book Playing With Food got us $146 in royalties, you guys. That is amazing. That is amazing. For our second like cookbook kind of thing, that's not bad. Girl's doing great. We will have her add to her Simstagram story, letting everyone know how great our second book is doing, which is awesome. And then I will have her come in here and we can, ooh, let's write poems about food. Oh, that would be awesome. Let's see, what should we call it? What should we call it? What should we call it? Oh, what about one tomato, two tomato, red tomato, blue tomato? Poems about tomatoes, let's go. So she is going to write her poem book about tomatoes. Brand Hecking is wondering if we wanna go over to his house and hang out. Well, when do we go to work? In five hours, let's go. This is gonna be fun. We get to see where Brent Hecking lives. I know we were in the middle of writing a book, but let's just be honest. We wanna go check out his pad, right? So we are here at Brant's house. Where is here exactly? Where is this? Oh, are we in Brindleton Bay? I did not know he lived here. Oh, look at, is this his dog? Oh, this is his dog. This is adorable. Oh, M G. You have a really cute house. I want to say hi to your dog. Where is he? He invited us over, but I don't see him anywhere. Hello, Brant. Brant, are you here? You guys, this is really odd. He invited us over, but I don't see him anywhere. So we're just gonna help ourselves to his TV, apparently. Where is he? I really gotta know, where is he? So we'll come over here and, oh, let's give her a big treat. Did we just get conned into taking care of his dog? Is that what this is? Is that what this is? You guys, I don't see Brant anywhere. I'm just gonna be honest. So we're gonna hang out with Rosie for just a bit, but I'm really curious where he is. So let's give him a call and invite him to hang out at the current lot. Where are you? 
right. Uh, hey, Brant, we're at your house and you're not here. So oh, we're just curious yeah. where you are. He's busy right now? Dude, you invited us over to your house. I don't understand. I do not understand this. Oh, I didn't know he was a painter. All right, well, this is getting creepy. We got to get out of here. You're at his house and he's not here. Bye, Rosie. It was so cute to meet you. You're adorable. You're adorable. And here we go. That was a really, really, really odd invitation. Really odd. Boy wasn't even here. Wasn't even here. So we just got back from Brant's house where we're pretty sure we got conned into checking on his dog. But hey, it is what it is. She needs to prepare some more food before she leaves for work so we can hopefully so we can hopefully get that job promotion. Let's have her come and make some... Let's see, we got some good options in here. Girl knows how to make a lot of stuff. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. What about some spaghetti? Ooh, yeah. Come make some spaghetti, girl. There she goes. Look at those knife skills. Nicely done. Girl's got skills. What can we say? Girl's got skills. I wish we could see her, like, working as a dishwasher at work and, like, working her way up. I really do wish we could. And I don't know if any of you noticed, but on the Sims 4 Master Chef logo that comes up before the episode starts, there's a little picture of Alex that's in the 4. It's super, super cute. Oh my gosh, we smell terrible. When do we when do we have to go to work? In two hours. All right, so we got a little bit of time. Girl is going to come in here and take a bath, which is exactly what she needs. There you go, girlfriend. Is she going to be hungry to eat this at all? No, she's not. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this into the refrigerator. She can have it when she comes home. Heat up a little spaghetti. But I'm pretty sure... Oh my gosh, we still have more food or drinks to make? Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's make a quick meal. Oh no, that's have a quick meal. Let's have her bake something. That's what we'll do. And then we can give it to our neighbors. Let's have her come make, ooh, a sweet potato pie. So we're going to bake a sweet potato pie for our neighbors before we leave. Ooh, what are we adding to that sweet potato pie? I saw that. I saw that. All right. One sweet potato pie all done. Let's go ahead and put it away because we're going to have to go to work in five minutes. And we don't want to leave our sweet potato pie sitting out here. There she goes, putting it away. Helga. Time to go to work, and off we go. In high heels? Is this our work uniform? What are we, what do we do again? Oh, we're a caterer. Okay, that makes sense. Never mind. Congratulations on getting that big promotion at work. You deserved it. Brant! Did you just spoil the fact that we're going to get a promotion at work? We are home from work, and we didn't get a promotion. What is he talking about? Maybe he was talking about when we were promoted to caterer. Okay, I get that. All right, well, they're being super loud, so we're going to have to come. Oh, we can't pound on the door. We can't. Okay. All right, so girl needs to go to the bathroom, and then she is exhausted, so we will see. We can't sleep because it is too noisy for us two right now. Can we go pound on their door and tell them to stop? Why can't we? Here, if we call them, can we call them and tell them to stop? Here, where is she? Where's the girl that we know? Hey, where did our neighbors go? They were right over here. Why does it say we don't know our neighbors? Hello? I'm going to go ahead and have her change into her sleepwear, even though it doesn't look like we're going to be getting to sleep anytime soon, which is a drag. So since we can't go to sleep right now, I figured why not come over here and finish writing our poem book about tomatoes. You guys. I think the music stopped. <gasps> I think it stopped. Yes, we can go to sleep. Oh, yeah. Finished writing our book. And now we are off to bed. So once she is done getting some shut eye, I'm going to have her come over here. And oh, we can sell to a publisher now, not just self-publish. Oh, we're going to get some more moolah. You know it. And it is new skill day. Oh, watch out now. Oh, watch out now. Girl is up, feeling uncomfortable, feeling hungry. Lucky for you, we have some spaghetti in here. Oh, yeah. oh we have a lot of stuff in here. Oh, let's have some pan-fried tilapia. It's going to go bad in an hour, so let's eat it before it goes bad. Oh, no, it went bad. Get rid of it. Don't eat it. No. So now she's stomping around because she's upset because I accidentally fed her some bad food. I'm sorry, girl. How was I supposed to know? We will have her grab a serving of her, I believe this is sourdough bread. What is this? It's some kind of bread. We will have her grab a serving of bread instead. Bread instead. Ha! Huh. 
Oh yeah, our other book got 155 in royalties too. <gasps> yeah, oh you slam that door girlfriend, she is livid. Okay, so since she is upset, obviously we're gonna send her in there to watch some culinary videos because that's what cheers our girl up. All right, she's just trying to relax before we gotta go to work. We don't know how we did not get a promotion last time. Like honestly, there's no reason why we did not get a promotion last time we were at work. I'm gonna have her come over here and I'm gonna have her come over here and bake something before we head off to work because we do need to cook a little bit so she can make a sourdough loaf. Is it raining outside? Oh my gosh, it is. Look at this. It is like torrential downpour out here. This is crazy. But we are nice and cozy inside. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? The entire game rumbled. <gasps> I didn't know it could do that. Okay, so cooking that got us 50% of the way there. All right, let's see if we can't cook or bake one more. Let's have you bake some cheesy bread next and we will put this away for you. Alex absolutely loves cooking, loves, loves cooking. Oh, and we've reached the next baking level. Heck yes, girl, there is so much new stuff we can cook. And we will just end up giving this to our neighbors and friends anyway so that they can enjoy our bakes. Yes. And we successfully nailed new skill day. Oh. Ooh, look at that delicious cheesy bread. Ooh, that is some delicious cheesy bread right there. Work starts for us in about an hour. We have got tons of cooking done. We went to go hang out with Brant, but for some reason, boy wasn't even there. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode right here, you guys. If you enjoyed today's episode, give it a big thumbs up. And to follow this Sim story as well as others, make sure and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Jessica, AKA Player Tap That A. Bye.